this video, we will cover how to do the math if you use only one arterial chemical. For purposes of simplicity in learning, for this equation, we will give you just what you need to know for the information to plug into the formula. The body was embalmed with 18 ounces of a 21.5 index arterial. That's two ounces more than a standard bottle size and a moderately indexed arterial. And the total volume of fluid in the embalming machine is 128 ounces, which is the same thing as one gallon. Now this may seem very empty or as if we're missing something, but we're not because this is all you need in order to make the equation happen. Now you're used to us giving you supplemental chemicals as well. And even though we list them at this point, they're not needed because they don't contribute to the total index in the tank. Therefore, all we need to know is the chemicals, the arterial chemicals that we're adding, and we need to know the total volume. So now you want to pause the video, see what you can do with this, and see if you can find out what the overall percentage is within the tank, indicated by P in the equation. When we return, we'll go over the equation step by step. But see what you can do on your own first. Using our standard equation of index times concentrated ounces equals the percentage in the tank times the total volume in the tank, we plug our numbers in. So we have a 21.5 index, multiply that by the 18 ounces in the bottle equals P times 128, our total volume in the tank. 21.5 times 18 is 387. That still equals P times 128. And then we have to divide 128 by both sides in order to remove it from the right. And this gives us 387 divided by 128, which is 3.023% formalin in the tank. I really hope that this video helped you. Please click the link in the lower right hand corner to subscribe so you can get more practice problems as they're added.